this time the theme as chosen by you was birth. The one I picked for my piece is the bar O, often nicknamed the shape O. When deciding on what bird to pick, I first construct on what birds are ready to feature in the location of mine, and the result actually surprised me. I did not think that there had been quite that many already, including two that featured in all AC videos of mine. I will leave a link to the Facebook page of the collective where you can vote on the next team and check out the members of the collective. I am not a member myself, but I like the challenge that comes with it, and of course, I like animals, so I try to get a piece done each time. Barn owls are relatively small owls, and probably the most widespread, being present on every continent except Antarctica. In Ireland, the numbers are declining, with only around 600 breeding pairs left. As their name suggests, the light sheltered areas, woodlands, as well as normal structures such as farms or ruined pastures, and here lies the problem in that the available forest reduces in size. Unlike a lot of owls, they don't need but have a more sweet side forest, which gives them the open. being called demon owl, death owl, ghost owl or leash owl occasionally, which is probably related to the species rather than hooting. Some layers aimed at defining the shades and shapes more and others aim for a much smoother color mixing. On the tree trunk the colors used are various shades of brown, 
which gives it its overall samey look. From the owl's back and wing, there are very different colors mixed together. There are shades of yellow, blue and grey going in with the browns. Since barn owls have a very near white chest and under wing, I chose a pose where the owl is looking over its shoulder, demonstrating the legendary ability to look straight back at something right behind them. As usual, a list of all the materials used can be found in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I shall see you next week.